Hello, welcome back to Factorial Season 5 with Jonathan Gardner, JG Games. Um, this is a new episode. It's actually October something today. It is October the 27th. I just started watching Arumba's videos this morning. Yesterday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Saturday were always busy. I didn't stream on Saturday. I apologize for that. But uh, it looks like Arumba is copying some of my designs, which I appreciate. I think that's great. I think we should share designs and improve upon them and things like that. And, and so I think that's great. He also mentioned my channel a couple times, so I appreciate that as well. One thing that Arumba did that actually I'm hitting myself because I didn't even think of it was um, he made wrong plus sign the walkway that i make to he made a four big and he says now i can drive on uh the car or something like that and i'm like ah oh, i hit myself i should have done that so next time i will build a four big just like he did uh, because that's just a good idea all around and um yeah i'm really excited about what a room is going to build in his factory and uh can't wait to see i have some robots that are trying to do some things so meanwhile um, I made some changes. I think I already talked about some of the changes I made. First of all, I think this is an awesome circuit factory here. I think this is really cool. Arumba, steal this design, please. This one's really cool. Um, anyway, uh, where am I? What am I doing? Oh, yes, research. Okay, so let me open up my notes here. Um, actually, it's my email. Let me open up my email. Where's my email? Uh, not that email. Sent me. Let's see. Okay. Jordan Mason. You know who you are. You gave me the awesomest idea ever for how to arrange my research, and I'm going to do it right now. Even though I'm not building a lot of research, I'm going to set up the arrangement, and it's going to be cool. In fact, I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to do it right here, right now. Because it's such a cool idea. So first things first, rip out all the research. Blam. Okay. That is so cool. That is just so insanely awesome. Cool. I need some stone. I need some concrete. Maybe I can do this much. Now I have some concrete. That's the wrong plus side again. Okay, so Jordan. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Hold on. So you gave me the most awesome idea ever for how to distribute my research. Um, in your comments, you said that, hey, oh, I have too much junk. Let's get rid of some of this junk. Let's get rid of this. Oh, look at all these blueprints I have. Holy cow, do I have a lot of junk. You said, hey, what you need to do did you guys bring me some there, stuff? Oh, shit. oh, my robots took it away. Man, this is such a big, busy, busy, busy factory. Everything's cut off. I destroyed everything. It's my fault. I destroyed everything. I'm a bad person. You guys don't have power now. Because my power system, I just, I did not build a very robust power system. Let's see, what I need to do is this. I need to have like stations here. There. Now, do you guys have power? Are you all happy? Are you all happy? Because this is a lot of RoboPlex. I just think that's too many rubble ports. I'm gonna get rid of them. Bye bye rubble ports. Bye bye rubble ports. Okay. Are you done yet? Okay. So his idea is this. Okay, so we have the two inputs here. It's kind of hard to see because of the shadows, but... Um,
Okay. Now we can only load so fast, right? Give me science labs. I have so much junk in my inventory. Stop giving me coal. What else? I don't want that. I don't want that. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need that. Or this. Or that. Or this. Or that. Or even this. Or this. Get rid of that. And I don't need these as well. Okay. So what you do is you take the research labs. You go like this. And you go like this. Now let's just put a power pole there like that. Let's put another one down. And make a blueprint of that. This was an awesome blueprint, by the way. Blammo. It's four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. This is two twenty-eight now. All right. And I messed up. I do need ones over here. And those are some messy power lines. Okay. It is not taking it out. No, you have to take it out. You have to take it out for this design to work. No, why, why, why aren't you working? Here I had grand hopes that I could pass it down, but you can't. You can't pass it down. It will not pull it out of research labs. This is what I was afraid of. But if it were possible, it would be awesome. It would be awesome because I wouldn't need... Oh, that's just so unfortunate. It would be awesome because I wouldn't need to distribute the... the uh, research packs, except by, um, you know, handing it off like this. I can go like directly from a train, basically, or from a package on a train. Now I need to somehow distribute this out. Huh. So I'm really only left with two designs that I can use. One is a design that I have over here, which relies on logistic robots to get everything out, which is more efficient than belts because you don't have collisions, right? So this design here. Uh, the problem with this design is it doesn't quite distribute it equally. But it may work. I don't know how deep I can go with this design, but you know. I have it at an angle. I can probably make it more regular. I don't need to have it like this. I can redesign it later. The other design is I have belts to distribute it. And the problem with belts is it has to calculate not only the movement, but the the, uh, the collisions. Belts are much more complicated. Having as uh, logistic robots is better. Doing it directly from trains is even better because you only have to load and unload from the train. So this does not work. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Well, that is just plain sucky. That makes me sad. <laughs> well, it was a nice try, wasn't it? If only that would have worked. That would have been awesome. That would have been fan freaking tastic. Huh. 
Ha! Huh. Well, it doesn't work, though. Allow me to be depressed for a minute while I think maybe there's something I missed. Maybe there's some other test I could try. Let's get rid of my robots. Actually, let's just take the robot pack out. Robo port off. Shield on. Oh, I'm sad. Let me lay down some concrete while I sing of my woes. Hmm. Hmm. My mind is chugging away. Some ideas are coming. Oh, they're not very good ideas, unfortunately. Come on, mind, give me better ideas. That's how it works, right? So, what if instead of that, I had. Better idea. What if. What if, what if, what if, here, here comes my idea. Instead of distributing it to the research labs, we distributed it to boxes. Yes. Yes, I need some chests. Give me some iron chests. Oh, uh, Roomba also said that he discovered the joys of uh, iron chests. And I'm just kind of like, well, I don't know if I understand. It. Yeah, they, they used to think that iron chests were useless, but then they did the resource calculation. It's like, oh no, these actually make a lot of sense. Okay, so iron chests, so what we'll do is we will have one here. Oh, this is nice, it's like a grid. You can actually see what you're doing. And then we'll have the research lab, like right here. We'll have this. And we will have uh, red inserters. Where's my reds? I don't have any reds on there. Nope, we will have two blue inserters. Yeah, that's what it's gonna work. It's gonna be spread out. It's gonna take up more space. But but it'll take more space, but I think I think it'll be okay. You see where I'm going with this? You see where it's going? Huh? Huh? It's always picking from one side. Well, that is not good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta stop this madness. Somebody's attacking me. Okay, the problem is it's only picking up one type. I need to pick up both types. So, I can't control... What's going on here, but... Is it all gone? What's going on down here? We have a regular cells train jam, huh? Why? Why? So you want to go here, but you can't because this guy, he wants to go here, but he can't because of that guy. myself a little bit conundrum there easily resolved easily resolved watch out those huge trains will kill me let's give you some repairs here buddy if I have repair packs on me which I think I should have yes there it is 
There you go. All fixed. Yes, my trains are running again. Okay. So back to this problem. So the issue that I'm going to run into down here is, you see, it only picks up the greens. It's not picking up the reds, right? This one's only picking up the purples. Well, I turned it off, of course, but it's only picking up the greens. You can tell why. Now, maybe what I can do see what this picks up. You pick up red or greens. Well, you don't have any power. Yeah, you're picking up reds. Now you're picking up reds. So. Ooh, scary sounds. Um, but this doesn't solve the problem, actually. The issue I'm gonna run into now is what happens if this chest fills up with greens? You know, it looks like a nice, efficient way to distribute this. It can move 10 a second through here. And each one of these uses, it requires 60 seconds. So this would handle 600 research labs if my calculations are correct. Which would be awesome. But there's no way to limit what's in those boxes. Like I can't say leave half of those boxes red and half of those boxes green. Unless, 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 unless <laughs> I have an idea. I don't want iron plates very much. Actually, I want train cars and some cargo wagons. And it has to be. How's this gonna work? It's gonna require red somewhere. Somebody bring me rail wagons. Looks like the water is flowing. Why is the water flowing? Maybe the water was shut off for a while. There, there's my wagons. So with wagons, you can control what they hold, right? Oh, that's just not right. That's just not right at all. Um, so if I have like this. like one two three and put a wagon on top and then we just put the red inserts in if they would bring it to me i don't think i have any red inserts actually that makes sense actually the only problem i'd run in here is that these guys will fill up and they won't move something down the line they'll get stuck it's okay if there's only one resource that they're trying to unload, but if they're trying to move multiple resources, it won't work. So this design, though tempting, you can kind of imagine how I'd have these all lined up all the way down. That's really tempting. It is, it is actually tempting, but, and here comes a big but, I don't think it'll work because it'll get stuck. So that's probably not going to work. So 
that one won't work either. So I'm still left with logistic robots as the best idea so far. Logistic robots, huh? Hmm. want boxes anymore or these I don't know where that logistic robot came from but he can go back to his life this box I can get rid of that I have more yellow belts so I don't know where they came from I guess I do have 50 red belts in my system huh huh who knew who knew huh hmm So we are left with the most CPU efficient method of distributing research to be building that train design I did in season four or using logistic robots to distribute it. I think I have to do that train system. I just, it has to be done. You know, I don't really have much of a choice in that regard. Somebody did point out to me how I can make trains wait longer. You have them stay at the station for like two or three times and then they'll stay there for longer. Um, so I think the, the question I have now is how big are these stacks of research? Um, 200, right? That's a big stack. So let me do some quick math here. So The sharpie, the sharpies don't bleed through the paper. So 200 times what is it? 30? That's 6,000 per car. I thought I got rid of that. 6,000 per car. So if it's doing one a second, and we could fit for each car, I don't know how many could fit. The research ones you can put a little denser, right? Let's say you fit three three per car. Well, you can do both sides, so six per car. I don't have any more of those, lo of those wagons. Let's get them back. Cargo wagons, dude. So, so the six per wagon. Six times eight, about 48. Sounds about right, 48. So, okay, six per wagon. I can carry 6,000 and it does like one a minute of red research. One a minute would be basically 100 minutes. I'd be sitting there for an hour and a half with a full train full of red. So yeah, that, that might work actually. Let me try that out. An hour and a half, so 200 is... Um, Let's just try it out. Let's try building that kind of thing. There's something else I wanted to build first. Something I'm trying to remember what it was. There's something else I wanted to do besides lay down concrete, which I'm having too much fun doing, by the way. Just can't get enough of this stuff. Um. Wanted to build red research. And maybe I'll just, in the first version, I will use robots to distribute everything until my CPU starts going down. And then I'll move towards using, um, my CPU is already low. You can see just building all that. All my robots are coming. That's when you have a lot of robots. That's what it looks like. Why are you guys going up here? Oh, to recharge? Okay. 
Sure. So I've built some truly massive things this season, I think. But it's just the tip of the iceberg. I want to build so much bigger. So um, I want to replace this base with a base that will build all the rest of the necessities. Um, using robots? I think robots are more efficient than belts. Yeah, I think that's what I should do, is build a robot base. It just uses logistics and it builds everything I need. Um, once that is running, then I can build the trains that will build the things. And the trains will pull up to that robotic system and they will load up the things they need, which I can scale accordingly. Uh, it would be kind of nice if I could like switch factories based on the needs, right? So like, let's say I had a factory here, right? And um, it's like really close to where I'm requesting stuff, you know, for the trains. And there's like six different kinds of things and just build it really close so that there's the logistic robots don't have to take any trips at all. Maybe that's what I want to build is is like when I build a train to build like a mine. Oh, yes, I remember now. Yes, I remember now. I will continue with a thing that I wanted to do. Um, Clonan posted in subreddit something that I wanted to build and I had an idea of, but I didn't execute upon the idea. I thought, oh, that's going to be stupid. And then he showed how to do it and make it look smart. And I'll do that next episode. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care and bye-bye.